What's up guys, Jay the Rap Specialist over at Rap Eaters in Houston, Texas. And we're back doing another crazy, crazy rap. As you can see, I got another chrome I'm working on. Chromes are super, super difficult. You always see it on my TikTok. I'm always talking about how hard they are and difficult to install. So I'm gonna show you guys in detail and give you guys an up close look at what I'm working on. One of the biggest questions I always, always get is, why do I charge $10,000 for a wrap? Everybody asks that all the time. Every time I post a video when it comes to chromes, everyone asks, why $10,000? You're ripping people off. That's not the case. First things first, the type of materials I use are gonna be the highest quality chromes. I am not buying those $50 chromes you see online. I'm not buying none of that crap. We're using the best films, highest quality, if you get up close and put these two films together, I can't do it, I don't wanna get sued. You'll see a big difference. Another thing, the way you install this is a completely different way than installing regular wrap. Most people can't do this. I haven't even seen a good chrome wrap up to date around my area. Anyone else who wants to do it, pull up, I wanna see it. Anyway, when you install this type of wrap or this type of film, it takes a lot longer, especially if you're like me, that you're super, super picky. If I don't like it, I'm pitting it off. You see my videos, I don't care how much it costs, I'm pitting it off. Will I mess up on the $10,000 rest? This vehicle has been here for quite a while. One of the reasons is because it takes super long because I'm picky, I redo panels. Another reason is because, of course, I've been crazy busy with lots of work. So I've been working on it like crazy. We're back on it. I'm hoping to finish it real soon. As you can see, a lot of it is already installed. A lot of the green is pretty much done on here. I have been kind of avoiding this piece down here. And if you've wrapped one of these cars, especially in Chrome, you know why. It is not easy. It is a small piece, but tricky. And I'm just saving it for last. Um, I've been working on the hood up front today. The hood is not too bad, pretty easy, but I wanna get it out the way already. So I got it laid down, but anyway, getting back to why it costs $10,000, the reason is, one, the materials that I use, they are not cheap. So materials are up there. They're gonna cost way more than your two, $300 rolls. And on top of that, the labor, no one can really do this as good as us, is being honest. So we are, of course, gonna charge. It takes longer. I could wrap a few other cars in the same amount of time as I would doing chrome. So as long as no one else is doing it better than me and cheaper, it's just gonna be like that. Anyway, I wanna show you guys how difficult this stuff is. So even if this hood looks like it's so simple to lay, it still is difficult. So. Instead of me being able to lay it like I normally would in one piece, I can't do that because chrome doesn't stretch. This stuff does not stretch. You have to piece it up, which takes longer, more material, more money, more labor. So it's not gonna be easy and you gotta try to get it clean and smooth on there. And the more pieces that you do, the more likely you are to mess up. So earlier, this piece here took me three tries. It is super simple but three tries. Most people would have left it on the first try, called it a day, it's good enough, but it's not good enough for me, so we're not gonna do that. I went ahead and did it three times till I'm happy with it, and of course, finally on the third time, I was good to go there. So most of the time, if people charge you way cheaper than I do, they don't have money to go buy more material for you. When they mess up, they got some dirt in there, they got some glue lines, they're gonna leave it on there, because why would they go spend money if you're not paying that much? They don't want to do that. But when I charge, I charge keeping in mind that I'm going to be picky and I want to give you the best quality work that you can get. Um, this car is going to be awesome. Like, I can't wait to see this thing outside complete. I'm going to do black down the middle. So owner used to have a black piece right here. And we're going to go ahead and add that to it after I finish this chrome piece here. Um, the front bumper, that's going to be difficult. I know that's going to take some time to do, but when I do that, it's gonna be nice. And all I have left is pretty much the side mirrors and the back bumper, and this thing is good to go. I did use a lot of material because of course I was redoing stuff. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and order some more and make it happen. So that's the reason why this stuff costs so much, man, because it takes a lot of time, a lot of patience, experience, and lots of labor. So material is not cheap too. So keep that in mind. We're not buying these $2 rolls that y'all talking about. Anyway, this thing is super cool. I wish I could show you guys what a good film looks like next to a cheap one, but I can't really do that. But when you put them next to each other, I did it one time on my Instagram. When you put them next to each other, you'll see how the mirror finish on this is way, way better. Like big, big difference. So you can't pull up in that cheap stuff next to this because you'll be able to tell and then you'll be embarrassed. Anyway, I also want to show you guys what I have going on right next to me. We are working on a different car. This is a Genesis 2022 vehicle. Customer just bought it, bought it over for a brand new wrap. They want to keep almost the same type of color, but just a matte finish on there. It is made by 3M, super nice material. I like the finish on here. I like how it still has some of the metallic flake on there. So it looks really cool. Can't wait to see it all complete. Um, it's going nice and smooth. We just started on it today. They did drop it off like two weeks ago. They weren't on the schedule, but we still got the car in and we're finally on it. We're making it happen this week and I can't wait to see it. I know they're gonna love it because that color is cool. Like it's real similar to the actual color it comes with, but pretty much just with a matte finish. So it is gonna be nice. This thing might be done by the weekend. Uh, we're early in the week right now. And it's not gonna be easy though, because it does have a lot more pieces. So some of these vehicles, they have a lot more pieces like this, and this takes time. But of course, you notice how we remove pieces, wrap everything individually to make it happen the correct way. So I wanted to show you guys this truck that I have out here. We just finished wrapping it yesterday. We also ceramic coated it. So yes, in case you didn't know, we can ceramic coat wraps and we try to do it on mostly every single wrap that we do. So you could do it on matte and satin too. It doesn't have to be gloss. And this one is ceramic coated, fully wrapped, ready to go, ready for pickup. It should be coming tomorrow to get it. But I did want to show it to you guys before it goes. This one was actually wrapped already. So they brought it to me wrapped the same color it's a brand new truck and it's crazy we peeled off the wrap did it again the same exact color it wasn't bad work like i don't want to say that it was like a horrible wrap i don't think it was that bad the only bad thing that's really bad is that they used their blade on the paint so they scratched the paint everywhere i feel like whoever wrapped it needs to know about knife is tape <laughs> that's one of the best things that you can use to not ruin vehicles so they didn't use it they scratched it all over the place but the cool thing is that when we wrapped it we wrapped way past all those lines that they cut so like that you can't see it but if the customer ever takes off that wrap they're gonna see those lines so we had to make sure to let them know that they were there as we were peeling it anyway this thing is done and ready to go in 3m film 2080 military green matte military green and it is super nice they brought it over from hennessy performance big shout out to them they brought me over this vehicle and of course they're going to be bringing some more this thing was a lot more difficult than it looks so at first i thought it was going to be pretty easy but it ended it ended up being a little bit more tricky the good thing is that we have a crazy good disassembly team so that was able to help us make this happen we were able to wrap all the way back there so if you stay close you still can't see where we cut off the line so super clean install it almost looks like paint super nice and smooth all the way ceramic coated ready to go that's the best quality you're gonna get right there folks if you want a good wrap you gotta hit us up we also have another truck over here same type of truck but in red we've been working on this also and we're gonna finish it up hopefully tomorrow or maybe the next day same type of truck gloss red this one's not getting fully wrapped but it is gonna get we actually already did the wrap at the very top so if you notice you can kind of tell from that angle that we wrapped it all the way to the top so 
This top half is one of the things we've been doing a lot lately is to a lot of different trucks. Super cool look. You keep the red at the bottom, gloss black at the top. And the nice thing about this one is that it also has some at the bottom. So I feel like this is a super clean look. My boy that brought this one, he's actually brought me a few different cars. He's been bringing me cars for a few years. So big shout out to him for always supporting me. Even when we were starting way, way back and he's still coming through, bring me cars. We've worked on a few of them throughout these years. So by the time we're done with this one, it's gonna be super, super clean. We're gonna add some PPF up front to protect it against rock chips. You gotta do that. So if you got a brand new vehicle, hit us up for PPF, paint protection film. It comes with self-heating. So if you get rock chips or scratches, it pretty much fixes itself with the sun or just heat it a little bit. We're also gonna ceramic coat it. We're gonna buff the entire truck and then lay that ceramic on there. And we're of course gonna ceramic coat the wrap. So the wrap on the very top is also gonna get ceramic coated. And what it does, it helps the wrap last longer and makes it easier for you to wash and maintain your vehicle. So stay tuned for that. I also have two videos. So one video for this one, one video for that one coming on my TikTok and Instagram. So stay tuned for that. And of course, make sure to subscribe to this channel, Jay the Rat Specialist. And if you wanna learn how to wrap vehicles, Check out jtherasspecialist.com. I'll post the link on this video.